Okay, this question here is from the Cambridge Integration B round two. And we're going to be using Glass's Mustard Theorem to simplify this down into something very, very nice. So first things first, we're going to write it uh, so it's a little more clear. Integral between 0 and infinity, e to the minus c, y plus 1 over y. And that's all over the square root of y, dy. Now, to get rid of the square root y on the bottom, we can just do a simple substitution. Let's say x squared equals y, 2x dx equals dy. So we have two lots of the integral between 0 and infinity of e to the minus c, and that's x squared now, so x squared plus 1 over x squared. Yeah, dx. Now, this can be rearranged and simplified using Glasser's Master Theorem. Now, what is Glasser's Master Theorem? Or rather, what is the application of Glasser's Master Theorem that we're going to use? It's going to be integral between minus infinity and infinity of f of x minus 1 over x dx equals integral between minus infinity and infinity of f of x dx. So we're going to be using this uh, this theorem and what we want to do is we want to rewrite x squared plus 1 over x squared as a function of x minus 1 over x. So to do that we can say um, so there's this sort of identity from algebra a squared plus b squared equals a minus b or squared plus 2ab and if we use this with a being a being x and b being minus 1 over x we get x oh sorry b being 1 over x so we get x squared plus 1 over x squared equals x minus 1 over x all squared plus 2x over x which just becomes 2. So we can substitute in this right here into this here and this will let us use Glass's master term. So we have two lots of the integral between 0 and infinity of e to the minus c now we have x minus 1 over x squared plus 2 dx and this here this e to the minus c lots of 2 is just a constant so we can bring it out to the front so we have 2 e to the minus 2c and then we have e to the minus c x minus 1 over x squared. Now we're very close to being able to use Glass's Master Theorem but Glass's Master Theorem relies on the fact that it's between negative infinity and infinity and we have between 0 and infinity. However, this is an odd function, sorry, this is an even function so we can half this and make this negative infinity. So now we can apply Glass's Master Theorem e to the minus 2c integral between negative infinity and infinity of e to the minus c x squared dx. And this here is just the Gaussian integral. So our answer ends up being e to the minus 2c square root pi over c. And that is that.